what's going on people welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial inheritance and constructor is the topic of choice so we learn about inheritance and basically all it does is it takes all the crap that's inside one class and it plops it into another class for you so one thing I know you guys are wondering is what about constructors because constructors aren't like any other function they're a special function pretty much specific to that class so I know where you guys are wondering in that child class the class that inherits everything does it inherit the constructor from the parent class as well but what if the parent class and the child ha class both have constructors does that mean one class has two constructors and you guys are going crazy well in this tutorial I'm gonna explain it all so let's go ahead and make two classes right now and oh you gotta click with the mouse before you start typing alright there you go class catfish and um don't ask me where I thought of that from actually I'm really in the mood to go catfishing right now so just deal with it anyways go ahead and make a class and call it catfish and go ahead and make a constructor and go ahead and remember underscore underscore there are two underscores you need construct and go ahead and just echo out something stupid and like echo I am the cash catfish that's the dumbest thing I could think of right now and let's go ahead and make another class that inherits from cat catfish show class of course its name would be ham extends inherits everything from catfish so looks pretty good to me so now let's go ahead and make an object from this class ham ham now let's name it ham o for ham object equals new ham class no parameters so here's what's happening right now I'll tell you guys the rule whenever you have a constructor in the parent class and you have another child class that inherits everything from it if this class does not have a constructor itself then it's gonna go ahead and inherit the constructor from its parent class so this class has nothing in it no functions no variables no constructor so since it's blank and it doesn't have constructor it's gonna go ahead and inherit its parents constructor what is catfish so now now that we made the object remember as soon as we create an object that constructor is going to be called this I am cache catfish is going to echo on the screen so let's go ahead file save mm, refresh move that over it's going slow because I'm still uploading that video oh sorry guys and refresh this and check it out I am the cash catfish exciting stuff right there so now let's go ahead back to uh what's this thing called text wrangler who invented that name idiot and let's go ahead and make a constructor of our own in this so let's go ahead and copy that and paste the constructor right in there and have it say something different so have it say ham 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 because you know what else would you put in there so now check this out whenever I said the child class does not have constructor then it's gonna go ahead by default and use its parents constructor now whenever it does have a constructor of its own it's saying you know what parent I don't need your constructor even though I inherited everything from you I have my own constructor so whenever we create an object I'm gonna use mine and not yours biatch so let's go ahead and save that obviously we have a very rude ham class right here that's why it's a biatch so let's go ahead and refresh this you guys can't see what I'm doing but trust me I'm refreshing it and uh, let's go ahead and load this there we go finally and refresh this and see what we get ham 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 is very confused so anyways here's what happened clearly as you saw just to recap one last time whenever you have a child class and it's blank it's gonna inherit the constructor from its parent just like this whenever you do have a constructor in your child class it's pretty much gonna overwrite this parent constructor and use its own constructor so anyways if you ever get weird constructors or a constructor that's unexpected that's what's going on behind the scenes and uh yeah, that's pretty much all I have to teach you for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I don't even know what I'm going to cover because, you know, 
I'm just gonna wing it. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, uh, so I guess I'll see you later.